What is up you guys, this is Rob, and welcome to Monterey Car Week. So we are at the home of Bentley. Check this out, let's go and check out the Bentleys that they have here. This thing is sweet. It's a pretty nice display to have here. Let me camera. Look at this, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see the other Bentleys they have out here. Check these out. Pure luxury. Just look at this interior. That looks so comfortable. Pretty cool. All right, here we are, Lexus. Let's go and do this test drive. All right, you guys. So I'm currently driving in the Lexus LC 500, and this is a very nice car. So basically, it's a lead follow test drive. I'm following the blue Lexus in front of me. And we're basically going to be just, uh, you know, having some fun with it. So this is pretty cool. Um, if you didn't know, these MSRP for around 100 grand. So I'm pretty excited to get to drive one of these. I always love driving new cars. So I always love trying to find any test drives that are available. As I'm sitting in the car, I can just feel just the luxury of this thing. Now, if you look at this whole, uh, you know, front of it, it looks really good. Everything is so simple and streamlined, but also still has that air of luxury. It's definitely a different kind of luxury than the BMW interior that my Supra has. All right, finally gonna go out a little bit on this one. There we go. So this car does have a V8. It's about, if I remember correctly, about 470-ish horsepower. I'll go ahead and put the stats up. And this thing feels good. You know, this is a Lexus V8, so it's not gonna be a raw V8 like you've got an American car, but instead it's more refined. It, the power is there. It just, um, it doesn't feel like quite the torquey beast as if you had, uh, you know, a Ford or a, just any American V8. But it feels good. I mean, look at this, it's smooth. Right now I do have it in the sport mode. So it does make the throttle a little bit more twitchy, I'm noticing, and the steering is definitely a bit more twitchy than in the normal mode. Well, so far though, so good. Fortunately, there is a bit of traffic, so we can't go too crazy, but we can still definitely appreciate how it is to drive this car and just how it feels. Look at this. This thing is just luxury. This is refinement. You know, when it came to luxury brands, Lexus was always one of my favorites. They have a certain quality control that I have always admired, while also giving it a reliability that you will want out of your car. What's the fun of having such a nice luxurious car if you're spending half the time in the shop? That's why for me, Japanese luxury was always something I always enjoyed. Let's see. All right, so here we go. You also notice it sounds really nice. You should be able to pick that up from the mic. It's definitely smooth. Like this suspension is good. It's a bit softer than I'd like, especially in sport mode, but it's still a lot of fun. I mean, look at this. You have the curving roads. This is all you'd ever want if you had this car. I mean, I usually hate convertibles. I usually hate uh, sunroofs, all that stuff. I'm more of a hard, you know, hard roof kind of guy. But I think this is a car I would drive to top down every day if I had it. So the car has a very nice exhaust now. So look, I'm gonna give it just a little bit of gas right now. It's second gear, 3.5 RPM. It's a, it's a smooth sound, but it's still an aggressive sound. I love it. Very cool. Uh, you know, this is a very cool car. I think the test drive is coming to an end, but I had a lot of fun with this car. Definitely something that if I were really looking for a luxury portable, this would probably be number one on my list, honestly. You know, this is just uh, a lot of fun. I really love how with Monterey Car we can just test drive all these cool cars. 
So let's go ahead and let's see what else is around Monterey. I've never seen so many Bentleys in one place. That Bentley. Bentley. Shuttle. Bentley. And another one. Well, that's nice. What's in there? Okay. All right, you guys, so we ended up missing our shuttle. So we had to walk back to the car and we're almost there. Crossing this street. There isn't the sidewalk. And that's a Lamborghini Urus. So now we're gonna see what else we find here in Monterey. Monterey Car Week, always amazing. Woo. I'm tired. That is a cool Lambo. Let's get going. All right guys, we found a Mercedes event. Neat. Let's see what's up here. <laughs> oh, it's a bunch of old school Mercedes. Look at this. Well, this is cool. This is beautiful. I'm going. Then we go down here. Got the Maybox section. These are the Maybox. Well, that is beautiful. Look at how smooth it is. It's on. No shaking or anything. Wow. Very cool. See, see what else is here. down. Look at that two-tone paint job. Look at those wheels. This thing is wonderful. These are cool, too. I prefer the sedans. Inside the showroom. Look at this. What am I one of these? AMG GT. What am I to use one? Whew. And who doesn't love the AMG wagons? And then they have an AMG spot outside, but nothing out there is really interesting to me. All right, let's see what else is around today. Okay, I lied. There's a lot more stuff out here. Let's see. Oh, so this isn't Mercedes, this is Concourse Village. Ah. Okay. Oh, well, hello. I found a nice cars. Yeah. Oh, these are beautiful. Oh, retro auto is right here. Okay, so they definitely moved stuff around since last time we were here. It's, this is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and see what else we can find. Found more cars. Awesome. These are all some special ones. Look at this. It's a Yanko Camaro. <laughs> well, that's cool. And the Bugatti, Ferrari. 
Claren. That's a really nice rolls. On little toy rolls. Oh, the Yanko's leaving. I told you it's cool. It's pretty cool to see that supercharged Yanko edition. Oh, here we go. Woo, Hellcat Dodge Power Wagon. This thing is beautiful. Wow. Pretty cool little area. DuPont Registry, they are major players in the game. This thing is just beautiful. Look at that. Jesus. It's a big truck. I sold Porsche too. All right, you guys. And then just to top it off, what is this? Hello, Ferrari. Very cool. Very glad I stopped here. Wow. So the Concourse Elegance, Concourse Village. Pretty cool. This color is just unreal. So much carbon fiber, I love it. Okay, so we had oil, I guess. This thing is just pure aggression, I love it. Cantina car meet. Let's see how these are. Here we go. Beautiful. It's the same X is cool. You don't see these a lot. Oh, that's beautiful. See of Lambadors. 916. Cool to see all the bikes out too. Pretty cool, alright. And look who I found. Out here in Monterey. I find germs DNA out here. Oh, How you doing, bro? How you doing, man? Good, good, man. How about you? I didn't expect to see you here, man. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, man. This is sick. Oh, it's cool to run into Bay Area people out here. This is a pretty cool meet. Cars are just continually rolling in because there isn't a lot of parking. So as soon as one car leaves, a new one comes in. Go check out this AMG. Woo. That bottom is beautiful. That front bottom. It was great. So now we are going to go see what is going on elsewhere in Monterey. So let's go. All right, you guys, after having dinner, we are now walking back to the car. We had to park pretty far away from Baja Cantina. So it's a pretty cool car meet. We're gonna go see what else is going on around Monterey. Let's go ahead and let's see what we can find. You're in the side of the freeway. So many cars, so many nice cars. I found lettuce. All right. Here we are now in Carmel. Let's go and do some car spotting. I always love this area for car spotting. Let's see what we find. It's a nice old Bronco right there. Nice vintage motor spike right here. Found daily dirt exotics. Pretty cool. Found daily driven exotics cars.
That is sick. Look at that, no windshield. But I'm loving her 720. Clickbait. Beautiful. Well, this looks neat. That sounded good. Oh, it's Ruby Stone. Ruby Stone Red. It seems like it's a good master. I don't know. Very cool. Guys, I found Paul Walker's car. Bam. Look at that. <laughs> that is cool. Lovely. Well, this is cute. Cops are constantly on patrol to make sure no shenanigans happening. Don't want anyone going too crazy, I guess. Beautiful Lambo. This is a really nice Audi. Whew, GT350. Always nice to see the classics out too. Especially this Ferrari too. Very cool. Old school Alpina. All right, you guys decided to hit up Cannery Road just for a bit of a nightcap, see what else we can find. Let's see what we see. Yep, still alive out here. So I remember coming out here to Cannery Row, I believe in 2018 was the last Exotics on Cannery Row. And after that, I moved to Monterey. So pretty cool to be back. Uh, and it's a really nice setting. The lighting is nice here too. This SVJ is sick. This is cool. That's a nice wrap. Neat. Love Huracan. Very cool. Oh, nice stance, HREs. Can't go wrong for bright yellow M3. Oh, and this Alpina, oh. <laughs> this is sick. And then, Camel Wrap Porsche. Very cool. Ooh. This is spicy. Like the flat, flat draw. All right, you guys, we are now on our last stop for day one of the Monterey trip. Safeway. We need groceries so that we can survive. So let's get in there. All right, you guys, so now we are at our Airbnb. We had a very successful trip to Safeway. 
So what do I eat for breakfast on car events? Power waffles, protein waffles. Also, because you need your vegetables, we got mango juice. It has all the things you need. Look at that, guys. It's even got protein and fiber. Rob's Autos fully endorses a fully balanced breakfast with plenty of fiber, guys. So that was day one of the Monterey trip. Tomorrow is Friday, another packed agenda. So please tune in, this is gonna be a lot of fun. And with that, this is Rob and have a good night.